What's up everyone? Trog here. Back at it. The Art of Ram. Teaching you guys one of my favorite tricks. The Ollie. This is going to lead us right back into intermediate ramp riding. Hold on. Let's get started. All right, you guys. Here we go. The Ollie. One of the most crucial fundamental tricks you can do to learn to catch air on your skateboard. I love it. And that's why we're doing it here on Valentine's Day. Let's talk about from the ground up, working our way all the way through the process of the Ollie. There's gonna be a lot of ground to cover on this episode. We're gonna introduce, or I'm gonna introduce a bunch of new techniques I've been using at skateboard camp. And I hope you can grab a notebook and a pen and write some of this stuff down in your skateboard journal. And if you don't have one of those started yet, make sure you guys are starting a skateboard journal and logging what you're up to, what you're working on and your goals. Starting off with the warm ups, most important, I like to do it, it's my favorite warm up. it's the ABCs with my ankles, all right? So again, go flip to a clip right here, check it, boom, doing it, the ankle rolls, do left, do right, do capital letters, use your big toe as a pen, and paint away that air, all right? Warm up those ankles, that'll warm up all the joints in your shins and your ankles, and it's gonna warm you up for a great Ollie session, or any session in general, so take it from me. All right, everybody. A couple things we want to talk about before we get into the actual trick. Let's talk about the condition of your equipment when we're talking about the Ollie. One thing I have right here is a skateboard tool. When I'm learning um, new tricks, what I like to do is have my tool with me because I will experiment a little bit with adjusting my trucks. We're doing an Ollie, we're starting in flat ground, not moving. We're gonna want a more stable board. So what I did is I actually took my back truck and I tightened it just a little bit beyond my normal stance because I, when I land, I want that board to be stable when I land. I don't want it to be going left and right, all right? And as a new rider, when you land these ollies, you might have a tendency to kind of get onto the heels or toes, help yourself up and build that confidence by tightening them up a little bit, all right? So one pro tip, bring a tool with you. Anytime you're out there skating, adjust your board as needed, all right? In my opinion, the tighter is gonna be a little bit better to learn tricks, but that's just my own opinion. Um, second to that is how new is your deck? How crispy is it? You want to have a good deck when you're learning all these stuff. Have a nice pop, all right? If it sounds soggy or a little dampened, it means the board just doesn't have as much life in it anymore. So make sure you have a crispy deck. As for your footwear, if you have newer shoes, the board is definitely going to grip a lot better than if you're wearing shoes that you've been wearing to school, to gym, doing, you know, riding your BMX bike around town and your all day rider. So make sure you have a pair of shoes just for skating. Again, the grip tapes is gonna count too. The newer the grip, the more it's gonna stick to your feet and respawn. So there's just a couple pro tips right there. All right, just a personal share of my own and my own skateboarding. When I started trying all these, I remember locking myself in my basement of my house and listening to the Offspring Smash all winter long, trying to learn ollies, pop shove it, and board slides. It took me four months to dial in the ollie. I hope with these pro tips right here, that this helps you get through your process a lot quicker than I did. But one thing I did learn about that is keep trying, keep practicing. Because what I was doing in that time was also conditioning my legs to be able to withstand the force of jumping and landing off higher drops. So one thing you're also gonna have to work on is strengthening your legs, your skateboard legs. That's gonna happen when practicing the ollie because you're gonna be doing a lot of skateboard squats. So let's get into it right now. Let's talk about the foot placement right here. We just talked about the equipment, what's preferred or recommended by myself. Now check this out with my front foot. I'm a regular footer and I did this little diagram on here just to let you guys know what I'm talking about. There's four levels of positioning that I keep my feet in when I'm riding my skateboard. One is no power, all right? That's where my foot is gonna be when I possibly am doing a fakey ollie in the deep end of the bowl or on a vert ramp, all right? I don't need much power because I'm bonking off the back wheels there. I don't need a forward drag and lift on it as much as I would be doing a frontside or backside ollie on transition, which we're getting into. Next is low power, all right? So you're starting to put your foot back in increments and the angle is slightly, it's not always perfect where I draw this line, but that's a low power position right there. That's great for front side disasters, backside disasters. As we know, we go through that, our foot slides up onto the nose anyway. Full power is the next. That's where I'm gonna be starting a lot of my ollies, especially when we get to the transition stuff, especially when we get into blunt fakies, that's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in full power mode. Again, defined maybe by an inch behind that those hardware trucks on that 
or the hardware bolts on that front truck. Lastly, high power. This is where my I'm not moving and or I'm doing a street ollie onto something. That's my high power. That's what we're going to be talking about tonight. So just know that you got four levels of power there. This is going to help you. And we're going to explain this more on the journey as we get into more intermediate ramp riding tricks and eventually into street basics. All right. So here we go. Let's talk about the foot placement now. Again, like I was saying, we're going to be rocking probably in full power right here for this explanation of this ollie. You're going to want to start doing this too. You're going to have that foot back about an inch. You're going to step your back foot on and here we are in riding stance or more of an ollie stance, I guess. All right. So back into this ollie stance again, a foot or an inch behind. And I'm going to have my toes over that board just a little bit. And the reason I'm having my toe over the edge of that rail on that skateboard is to keep it flat. Now let's remember all our fundamental skating. When we're setting up or something, our weight is forward. That means the helmet is up over that front leg. The back foot, very light. Very light with that back foot, getting ready to pop off that back leg. All right, as for the back foot, there's a couple places I like to hold my feet. In transition, sometimes I'm up here in the pocket. If I'm on the street, I'm back here on the tail a lot more. So we're working on the street, we're working flat ground ollies, my foot, my shoe is gonna match that curve of that board. Each matching your shoe with the tail of that board, and that seems to be working for all my riders in skate camp. So again, out of the pocket, into the tail, all right? So here we are, we're set up in our riding stance. Right now, I'm standing just right over the middle of my board, all right? I'm not getting any action yet. It's time to start initiating the ollie. So a couple things I wanna introduce to you right here is the heartbeat. I'm gonna teach you guys about adding life into your skateboarding. And what do I mean by that is when I'm riding and I'm setting up or approaching, whether a piece of coping, if I'm riding transition or if I'm riding street, I'm riding in this baseline position. I'm approaching right here. Now, the heartbeat, what is that? As I'm coming up that ramp or up the bank or approaching the stairs or the handrail, I'm gonna sink down even further. And if you imagine a heartbeat stacked at the hospital, it's gonna go baseline, it's gonna go down, it's gonna spike up, it's gonna go back to that baseline and repeat. This is the heartbeat. This is how you add life to your skateboarding. It's so important. You're down here, you're approaching your rail, you're appro approaching the quarter pipe, you're gonna blast this ollie as big as you can. You're down here in your baseline, go low, snap up. All right, so that's the heartbeat. It's a flat baseline, down to power up, boom, pop off. All right, so I have a video um, about loading and unloading the weight. This is just another version of that. This is like a more defined version, the heartbeat, adding life to your skateboarding. Load the weight up, boom, it's loaded, unloaded, jumping. Another thing I'm gonna wanna do is time my arms to get more power up. As a brand new rider, I would try my ollies up here in no power zone. My arms would be down and I would jump like that. And I was wondering why I couldn't land ollies. Well, I wasn't bringing my whole body into it. I wasn't bringing my arms into it. I wasn't bringing the breath into it. That's what we need to do to do these big ollies. I'm talking foot up to two feet high, all right? So big ollies, they're gonna require full body motion, okay? And so we're getting into that right now. Lastly, I'm stepping onto my board. You're gonna see that most pro riders, when they get on their board, just about they're about to snap that ollie, they do one last little dance on the board to set their feet up exactly where they need it. All right, it's almost impossible to push from something and land your feet directly in place. You have to do a little bit of a dance on the board. And if you haven't seen that video, dancing on your skateboard, that's just another technique that we teach in the Art of Ramp. So it's a small little macro hop just to last minute reposition your feet into that exact position where you're ready to fly. All right, so right before we get into that ollie, do that one little dance and it's gonna look similar to this. You're gonna get on your board, snap it up, and then boom, we're going into this ollie. Putting it all together. Let's talk about the motion real quick of the ollie. As I'm approaching, I'm coming down. I'm loading up the weight. I'm in my baseline. I'm sinking down. My arms are down. I'm about to start snapping up, unloading the weight. The heartbeat's coming up. I'm bringing everything up. The first motion right there, get to the tail. All right. One thing about your equipment, the higher your board, the bigger the wheels, the longer it's gonna take for you to reach the tail. So if you have a lower setup, a 52, 54 millimeter wheel, it's gonna be a lot quicker and responsive 
than somebody like myself that rides a 58, 60 millimeter wheel with independent trucks, all right? So think about that. The lower your setup, the quicker you're gonna get to this tail. The next thing, as most of us know, you've probably watched other YouTube videos about how to do an ollie, you're gonna jump and drag your foot at the same time. From this point, your arms are up, you're breathing out, you're jumping as high as you can, your eyes are looking forward, you're already spotting your landing, or if you're standing still, you're just looking straight down. You're gonna jump off that back foot, it's gonna be front foot up, then the back foot's gonna come up to rise, you're gonna lift your back foot up. And once you're up there, it's both feet down at the exact same time, put down the landing gear, you're gonna be coming down nice and still, bend your knees on that landing, all right? And finish with the heartbeat as well. So down low, jump up, pop up, bring the back leg up, set down the landing gear right away. All right, you guys, I hope you've been practicing. You're just here standing in place ollies and they're coming along great. The next thing is taking a little bit of speed for this, all right? So we're here at the third layer, like I was saying in the intro, you guys know that. We're gonna be working at all on ollieing right over this Bondo line, all right? It's just a visual. You can go out, you can paint a line wherever you are. You can put a twig down, you can put a piece of tape down. Of course, don't be go out and vandalize places. You know, I'm talking about doing this stuff at your own house, all right? So let's talk about rolling with the Ollie and what's the difference between standing still and adding a little bit of speed. So all we're gonna do differently here is we're gonna be working on this drag forward. And it will take a little bit of time and finessing to get a jump up and forward at the same time. So you're gonna be jumping a, a diagonal that's gonna let that front foot drag on that nose. Most importantly, the hardest part of the ollie, I think, for most kids learning to do this right away is lifting that back leg up. You're gonna really wanna work on your core muscles. If you're not out there doing yoga or if you're a child out there, really take thigh ed, especially your curl ups and your sit ups and stuff, into a deep consideration that it's gonna help you a lot in your skateboarding. We're gonna get more into this as we get into the intermediate ramp riding and finishing off. We're gonna need a strong core to lift our legs up to our chest and also tie our rotations of our upper body and our lower body. So I hope this intro to the Ollie helps you guys out. Again, it's really, I just wanted to segment the Ollie and my love for catching air into the rest of the intermediate ramp riding. I don't teach street riding a lot. It would be a lot easier for me to teach Ollie on the ramp, but we have to start at the ground level. This is where it all started. Everything starts with the Ollie as we ramp up intermediate ramp riding into the more advanced trips. So let's start it with some rolls and see what we can put down here. Starting off with a nice slow speed, setting up that dance, and after that Ollie. One thing, I might not have landed the cleanest, but I was using my exhale so when I sank down into that board on that land, I was nice and calm and I could just point and ride away and make that last adjustment. You might not have seen it, but I did do a little dance on the board after I landed to readjust my feet. Get used to dancing on the board. Those quick little motions, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a night and day difference in your riding out there. So learn to dance on the board, learn the heartbeat. Let's try a few more. Again, you're bringing that positive self-talk. I got this, I got this. If you're at home and you wanna practice something, this is how high you can ollie. As high as you can jump and bring your legs up, that is the potential of your highest ollie. All right, it can even be more going off a bank or something. So again, you're gonna need to practice that core, work on that core, work on those leg muscles. Skateboarding isn't easy or else everybody would do it. You know this, we're in it. We're ramming it down. Just keep working. Not four months for you, four days. Nothing is better than flying. Valentine's Day again. This is how to ollie, the art of ramp. We'll see an intermediate ramp riding coming up next. I got 
got Franco Romero out here filming this episode. Thank you, Franco. I just want to say that it's great to be back and I'm really looking forward to finishing up the entire intermediate ramp riding series. Things got a bit hectic in my schedule of building ramps. It's been great. A lot of skating's been going down, just not a lot of time to edit a lot of videos. So thanks for subscribing, you guys. Thanks for keep talking about the channel and bringing all the, the epic comments in and, and really working out um, the tricks. I mean, through the comments, it's been great. So um, I'm stoked to be back, you guys. Here we go, firing it back. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, what's up everyone?